Catamayo, the biggest and most fertile of Lojas Valleys. It has inexhaustible riches that call to be seen and explored. Marvelous natural landscapes with lush of flora and fauna, and a pleasurable climate with summer weather. The hospitality and simplicity of its people make this delicate valley the ideal place to relax and enjoy. But Catamayo has much more to offer, it's a squeezy dining experience and it is that its very special climate allows fruit productions with unique flavors. That along it with its attractive port is why I invite you to visit and enjoy the flavors of Catamayo. Unique flavors funnel in this valley and that's why week after week dozens of tourists visit this paradise out of the country. And you cannot come to visit Catamayo and not taste our delicious dish, Cecina. Come and join us on this delicious journey while we sample the flavors of Catamayo. Cecina is one of the most recognized delicacies of Catamayo and to learn how it's prepared and sample a taste of it, we are in one of the places where the most delicious cecina is served, Noemi's restaurant. And here we find our chef, who is going to prepare this delicious dish. What do you think is the secret of the cecina? Sí, el secreto de la cecina es prepararle con bastante ajo y naranja agria. Well, let's begin. The cecina is prepared with faintly sliced pork meat and stretched on all sides. It is marinated and hung on a rope to dry in the sun. It is then grilled and served with boiled yucas, rice, menestra, mote, and the infallible onion salad. And this is the result, the famous cecina of Catamayo. A dish that will cultivate your palate. Sirvanse por favor. Due to the fertility of this valley, we find all kinds of fruits such as yucca, sweet potato, peanuts, limes, and orange. But one of the most outstanding is the sugar cane. And it is for this reason that natives of Catamayo create a refreshing and tasty drink made with sugar cane. Then compare with what up. Come and join us on this journey to discover the flavors of Catamayo. Guarapo is a refreshing and nutrition drink made from sugar cane and to know how it's prepared and to taste this delicious drink we are here a place distinguished by preparing the best guarapo. And we are accompanied by Juan and Isaac. Tell me, how long have you been preparing this unique beverage? Hola, venimos preparando 20 años atrás el juguito de caña para los catamayenses. Gracias, le invito, vamos a tomar. At the full hills of Urcupunta Cerro sits San Pedro de la Bendita. This church is one of the oldest parts of Catamayo Canton. 
is in this magical corner of the country where the sweetness of Amasijos of San Pedro de la Bendita is born. This dog has the typical sweetness of cachamayo, better known as roscones and bizcochuelos, delicate and delicious. This is a sweet treat that you cannot miss. Come and join us on this journey to continue discovering the flavors of Catamayo. We want to learn how to prepare roscones, and here we find Edison and Wisaka, an expert in the preparation of this sweet delicacy. Here roscones are prepared by hand, so the taste is unique. How many years have you been preparing this very traditional product? I have been 14 years making this tradition of San Pedro la Bendita. Well, let's begin. Roscon is a sweet round bread prepared from water, butter, flour and egg. After mixing the ingredients, kneading the dough is one of the secrets to getting a good roscon. Then the dough is shaped in the form of a ring and baked in the oven. And finally they are dipped in a delicious white icing. And this is the result, the unique amasijos of San Pedro de la Bendita. Delicate desserts characteristic of this beautiful corner of the country. The African culture of Ecuador is so full of flavor and joy that it has made a great contribution to the flavors of Catamayo, giving to this splendid valley one of the most outstanding dishes, the Seco de Chivo. A visit to Catamayo would not be complete without a taste of this delicious dish. Come and join us on this journey as we continue discovering the flavors of Catamayo. The Seco de Chivo is one of the most recognized Catamayo delicacies. And to learn how it is prepared and sample a taste, we are in one of the places with the most delicious Seco de Chivo. Here we are with our cooker, Mercedes Santos. ¿Cómo está, doña Mercedes? Bien, gracias, niña. What do you think is the secret of making a good Seco de Chivo? Para preparar el Seco de Chivo es necesario el tomate, la cebolla, el, el ajo, también el laurel, el cilantro y la naranjilla. So well, let's start. The seco de chivo is prepared with seasoned goat meat and cooked with other ingredients until it becomes tender and juicy. The goat must simmer for a while so that the meat softens and loses the strong flavor that goat meat has.
This tasty dish is served with jello rice, fried ripe platano and avocado slices. And this is the result. The famous collectivo of Catamayo, a delight for the palate. Now, the only thing missing is the dessert. And the coconut ice cream prepared in Catamayo is undoubtedly a taste that you cannot miss. The sweetness of this dessert is synonymous with the charming character of this beautiful land. As we have seen, Catamayo has an appealing and unique culture. We have beautiful colors that fascinate and flavors that delight, making of Catamayo a place you cannot miss. Come and fall in love with the flavors of Catamayo. <laughs>